Hey Tiki, so okay, today we are doing a Hollow Mermaid mini. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. It was a little frustrating for me, just so you know. <laughs> so to start with, I'm painting three of my nails with OPI's Alpine Snow. Just two thin coats and you're totally opaque. Then on my ring fingernail, I'm adding Cert Colors Memento Mori, that fabulous one black one one black one coat black polish <laughs> you know what I mean it's okay now the reason I'm using cert colors is because Sveta Sanders and what's up nails both told me that I can use their holographic chrome powder over normal polish as opposed to using a gel polish so I thought I would test that out okay so the chrome powder that I'm using is from what's up nails it's a holographic chrome powder so the same as any other chrome powder I don't think it's any different than any other any of the other chrome powders uh, they sent me a little pot it's a one gram pot it's very light stuff so you get more than enough my gosh you get heaps uh, I, I, I would say that I'd never use all of this pot or oh, you never know I might anyway that's beside the point okay so I couldn't find those little applicator those little eyeshadow applicators I did buy some especially for this but then I couldn't find them so instead I'm using a, a disposable plastic or rubber kitchen glove because <laughs> I heard that that works as well okay so the black polish is now dry and I can now use the uh, holographic chrome powder on that nail and everything's just going swimmingly isn't it isn't it going really well you basically just need to rub the powder into the nail and that's how you'll get your chrome effect that's how it's supposed to work but after a couple of minutes of rubbing and maybe I, I did this maybe I rubbed for too long it actually started to dull the holographic properties or the chrominess of it and made it really dull so then I started rubbing really fast and then I stopped it uh, so and I was thinking all right well okay well I've stuffed it now I'm gonna have to start again and I thought well maybe I didn't let the black polish dry for long enough it maybe should be like rock hard now I know that uh, trying to put it over sesh feet is not going to work it has to be over the black polish and with no top coat over the top so you know we'll take this off and we'll start again and I'll wait for longer for it to dry Okay, so I've done all of that. I've taken it off and reapplied the black polish. While we're waiting for that to completely dry, I'm going to use some Ella Miller polishes to create a fan brush gradient on my white nails. So we're just going to pretend that all of that awful stuff with the holographic thing didn't... We just pretended... Anyway, just... Anyway. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so I'm uh, going to be using some liquid latex to protect the skin around my nails on all of my white nails. I'm using Simply Peel by Bliss Kiss, of course. Now to do the gradient, as I mentioned before, I'm using the fan brush method, so which is really quick and easy. Uh, that's why I like doing it, I suppose. So we're just putting all of the polishes that I want to use in the gradient in a line on my silicone mat and then we dip the brush into all of those polishes at once and then fan it across your nail back and forth until you like the style of blending that you've gotten and you're happy with it it's pretty simple really I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same those same steps on the rest of my white nails I'm not showing you because otherwise this video would be so long it would be ridiculous like it's already pretty long Of course I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle using INM Nails Northern Lights Silver Top Coat in hollow. It was a hot silver holographic top coat, basically. <laughs> Just add that extra little bit of sparkle. It's kind of sparse so it's not it doesn't overshadow the the gradient behind it. Now next I'm going to be doing some mermaid stamping using Uber Chic Beauty's Mermaid Life Plate. I'm using the two mermaid uh, or mermaid print. Uh, stamps that they have on this plate both the singular one and then the one that like the negative image and then the positive image I hope you know what that means because I I think I know what that means yeah I do know what that means I just find it hard to explain it anyway I'm using Dance Legends silver stamping polish their metallic stamping polishes are absolutely brilliant I've got two of them the gold one and the silver one and they're amazing 
going to do the uh, the lined mermaid scales first and then what we're going to do is come back in and line up the uh, the other stamp which actually fills in a couple of the not all of them but just a couple of the mermaid scales so it makes it I think it gives the mermaid uh, the mermaid scale look a little bit more dimension when you do that that's I think that's the reason why that's my reason <laughs> I do, I absolutely, 100% know what I'm talking about, but I find it difficult to relay it sometimes. <laughs> Just ignore me. Maybe I should turn the music up in this section <laughs> so you can't hear me rambling. Oh gosh. So it's time for a final top coat using Sesh Feet as per usual, my favourite top coat. Okay, so now it's time to go back to the holographic chrome powder and I have waited for this nail to dry for a very long time and as you will see, it's not working. For some reason, I don't know, I didn't put a top coat over it so I don't know, that, that can't be the reason why. Maybe, uh, and it's the same polish, the Cirque Colors Memento Mori, exactly the same. So why isn't it working now? It worked before, but now it's not working. Obviously, I've waited too long for it to dry. So uh, Sveta never um, said how long she waits for it to dry and I don't know what the black polish is that she's using. So I don't, it's regular polish, not gel polish that she's using in the video that she did. So I'm really annoyed. I'm really annoyed that it's not working. But I know that it does. Maybe, maybe what I did first worked, but I think maybe I pressed too hard and rubbed for too long. Because, you know, you, you keep rubbing thinking that it's going to get better and, and even better and even better. Like, even though when I first started putting it on, it was perfect. And I probably should have just left it alone. But anyway, so I got really, really frustrated at this point because it wasn't working. So I decided to just scrap it. I took all of it off. I'm, I mean, by rights, I could have just put a gel top coat over the top of the Memento Mori and it probably would have worked beautifully. My problem with that is I didn't want to have to soak off a gel polish. Before putting any gel polish on my nails these days, I will always put a peel off base coat underneath because I do not want to soak nail polish off my fingers. I just don't want to. So I took all of that off and then I added the peel off base coat from Unt, 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 anyway. Uh, then I added, and I didn't put anything else over, uh, no other colours over the top, I just added a coat of clear, no rub gel polish onto my nail, and then cured that under my LED light for 30 seconds. You've just got to be really careful when you're doing this to, to use the chrome with, what you've got to be really careful of is that you do not get any of that clear top coat or clear gel polish on your skin if you get any on your skin just make sure that you clean it up before you cure it otherwise the chrome polish sorry the chrome powder will stick to whatever the gel is on whatever even if it's on your skin and then you just won't get a really beautiful end look i guess now as you can see this is working beautifully oh my gosh it's so pretty it's just like oh gosh look it's almost blinding in its prettiness of, you know, the hollow and all of that and the chrominess of it. It's just stunning, li literally stunning, just beautiful. Before top coating, I just want to do a little bit of clean up around the side just to try and alleviate the risk of getting any of that chrome powder that's on the skin around my nails and, and on my cuticle line. So you just want to make sure that you don't get any of that trapped under this gel top coat you're about to put on. Because if you do that, then you're kind of stuffed. You can't get it off unless you soak it off. And then we've got one last cure under your little, my, or my little, it's not yours, it's mine. <laughs> it's actually my Jamberry light. Because <laughs> Jamberry sent it to me. Because, anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful though? It's so distracting. <laughs> 
and that's it for this one i really hope you liked it i'm sorry that i was so uh i don't know i'm in a funny mood today <laughs> can you tell <laughs> okay so anyway thanks again for watching i'll see you next time bye chickies oh and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up oh and don't forget to go and subscribe you must be subscribed if you want to enter next week's giveaway because it's coming on monday or sunday sunday or monday anyway you'll know if you're subscribed you'll be the first to know <laughs> okay i'm going now bye